If you just got a silhouette and you're a complete beginner with only the basic edition of Studio, this video is for you. Hi, and welcome back to my craft room. My name is Kelsey with Creative Fabrica, and today we are going to make a super simple project using the basic standard edition of Silhouette Studio. Unlike other cutting machines, Silhouette Studio has a one-time upgrade that you can purchase, and they have different tiers. There are actually four tiers in the Silhouette Studio series, and right now they have just upgraded to their five version, which is the easiest and beginner-friendly version that they have. But if you just got your machine and you're not ready to invest 50 to $100 on a program to use, then the basic edition is what you can use for free. Now, obviously the basic edition is going to have less features than those other editions, but we're going to walk through step-by-step -step to make a very easy first project, which is HGV on a koozie. And I'm gonna show you how to use a DXF file from Creative Fabrica to make this. So if you're ready, let's get started. So right now I am viewing Silhouette Studio in the basic edition. So this is what you would see Silhouette Studio 5, the latest download. If you are in starter mode and if you're not, you can click it off. It kind of just makes it a little bit less beginner friendly. So I do actually like working in starter mode. I just like the bigger buttons, but you can do whatever you'd like. Now the basic edition is a free version of Silhouette's software. So you can download this and get started right away. It is a little bit more limiting compared to the upgrades. Obviously, when you pay a little more money, you're gonna get more options. So let's just go through what is Silhouette Studio Basic Edition. It is the software used with your cutting machine and it's the starting point. So if you wanna just get going, you can use text, you can use basic shapes, and you can also use lines to create your own designs. Now over on the side, you're also able to do things like weld and subtract. So you still do have all of those functions when it comes to Silhouette Studio Basic. You'll also be able to resize, rotate and align things. So if you grab back out some shapes here, you'll be able to grab them. You do have to switch back into your select tool over on the side. And then you can go over to the side and find transform and do things like align, center, distribute. You'll be able to transform and scale as well as rotate, which I know is a little silly with these circles. And then you'll also be able to work within your print thin cut. So if you kept the circles here, you can go down and go to print thin cut. You can enable your registration marks. And then when you go into fill style, you do still have the option for patterns as well as gradients if you are going to be doing print and cut projects. Like I mentioned before, you'll still have your text options as well. So you can go ahead and grab your text. And then if you go to fonts, you'll be able to play here. You can download your own fonts. I download fonts all the time. I download fonts all the time to use on my computer. And then once you download them before the program is open, you'll be able to use them. Now we can grab Magic Knight and then you'll be able to use your own fonts. And then again, you'll still be able to change any of your fill styles. So you can change the color, you can make it a gradient for print and cut, and again, you can still do those patterns if you wanted to. So you do have some image effects here where you can change the coloring. Again, a lot of this is gonna be used for print and cut images. This isn't really gonna be for your um, everyday cutting when you're doing vinyl, things like that. You do still have the option for offset or inset. Your sketch fill is going to be when you use your pens. So this is great to do. I love using this. It's a really nice feature that Silhouette has compared to some of the other brands of cutting machines. Your specialty tools are also going to be for your pens, things like that. So if you're using, let's say, the heat pens, if you're using the Cameo 5, you'll be able to fill that in so that you have a really nice filled in foil. Now you'll see here, we are still able to trace. So if I uploaded a photo, you'll be able to import. So if I go here and I open, you can import files. And then if you go over to trace, you can trace the selected area, right? Make a little bit bigger, make sure. And then you can also change the threshold. That's just basically if, depending on the file, if I go really, really high, you'll start to see it gets a little fuzzy. And that just means that it's picking up too much color but you can go ahead and you can hit trace. And then now you can delete your original coloring page and you're able to make a cut file from a coloring page, nice and easy with Silhouette Studio. Now with this, you are able to 
go in and release the compound path, which will break up all these little pieces. And then you'll be able to color them if you wanted to color in your butterfly. So for example, if I wanted this to be orange, I'm able to color all the pieces and then send it over to be cut, which is really cool. It's a great feature that they have. Um, especially if you want to make your own files. And also if you have the basic edition, then you're able to, to not worry as much about making or about finding files that work with silhouette. So the tracing is definitely a big plus. Now, one of the things that is kind of a downside to only having basic is you can't upload SVG files. So if I go in here and I go to my cake topper, so you'll see it only lets me upload either the PNG or the DXF. So let's upload the DXF file. It's backwards and upside down. So we're gonna go over to transform. I am going to rotate it and then also, and then I'm also going to flip it horizontally. And now it is the correct way. Now with the DXF, DXF file, it's going to be just very similar to an SVG file. So it's going to have your nodes. And of course you can come in, you can also change the color like you did before. And then I just wanna show you what it would look like with a layered file. And so you'll see here, it's still in pieces, just like an SVG file would be. So it's very similar. There's not many differences. It's just that you have to find someone who has DXF files included in their images. So this would be a DXF file and you would have to go in and unlike an SVG where you see all the colors, it's just going to be these lines. So you have to kind of go through and fix all the colors if you need to. Now we are going to do just the birthday. So I'll load it back in, I'll flip it again. There we go. And now you can resize. For resizing, you can go to the corner or like we said before in transform, you can also go here and scale it down, which is very nice. I'm going to cut this out with vinyl today to make a koozie. And so I'm gonna make mine just a little bit smaller, probably about two and a half, that's good. And again, you can always change the color if you want to for when you go and send it. So now when I go to send, I am in starter mode, so it's going to walk me through all of the processes. So I'm just gonna connect. And now it's going to tell you what to put in, right? So I have this right now, it says cardstock, and then it'll say cut and auto blade. You can also go into standard mode, and I actually like working in standard mode a little bit better because this is what I'm used to, but you can work in standard mode. You also can work with line colors as well as fill colors. That's great when you have a lot of different colors on one mat. I am gonna go ahead and work in standard mode. We are gonna cut this out with vinyl. In basic edition, you still have the ability to do test cuts, which I can show you in one second. And we are going to cut this with HTV. Okay. And now you can adjust any settings that you need. I usually up my force and my blade depth. Oh, it's right there. And then down here, you can do generate test shape. It's gonna pop over onto your material. You are able to move it. So if you wanted to move it further up into the corner, that's totally fine. And then you can send the test, but first you have to put in your material. So when you do a test cut and you send it through, it's going to cut the triangle and the square. And this is to test to make sure that the settings that you're using are going to cut through your material. I always suggest doing this if you're working with a new material. And before we go ahead and we send this over, I know we mentioned you can upload DXF files, which are similar to the SVG files, but the other files that you can import are JPEG, PNG, BMP, GIF, and TTF, which are font files, as well as Studio and Studio 3 files, which are the native silhouette files. So again, if you wanted to really have more open availability to using files, you want to upgrade at least to the designer edition or higher. That way you're able to use SVG files, which is what is widely used with many creators. Um, there are no advanced tracing tools in the basic edition. There's no nothing like rhinestones, warp, sketch features, um, and you cannot export SVG, PDF, or PNG files, which you can do in the business edition, which I really like. But if you're just getting started, this is super helpful and easy to work with. And of course it's free, which I love. And you can always upgrade at any point in time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna test my cut. And then if it's good to go, I will cut out my actual print. But before I forget, this is a, this is HTV. So I do want this to be flipped. Now they used to have it here where I could flip it but for some reason they don't anymore. So I'm gonna go back to design. I'm gonna go here. I am going to flip horizontally one more time. 
and I'm going to hit send. That way we know that it is ready to go for HTV because it does need to be mirrored. And again, I don't know why it's not popping up here. Usually it, it pops up here unless I'm just missing it, which is could always be the case. But let's go ahead and do our test cut. So I have it loaded and I'm about to send the test over. It's going to adjust my blade and then go ahead and cut through that vinyl. And I'm able to easily peel the HTV so I can reload in my mat and adjust the image over in studio and then send it over. So I'm just about to send this over. And once I went to go and send it, I hit send, it came up to send mirror or as is. I'm gonna send as is because I already flipped it. And it'll say load your auto blade, which I already have it in. I don't know why it's saying to do that. There we go. And I have the heat transfer in, so I'm gonna hit send. Now, because we did that test cut, we know that it's already good to go. And you'll see, I did check to make sure it still was peeling beautifully off of that backing. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and weed out my heat transfer vinyl. And don't forget to remove the rest of the test cut on your cut. So I have my design weeded out. I'm gonna grab my koozie and I'm not using any sort of heat pad underneath because the koozie is pretty thick. So I'm not worried about getting it on my table. I have my mini press heated up to about 310 and I'm going to press for about 15 seconds. I started to peel, but it was peeling off of the koozie. So I wanted it to cool a little bit more. You should check to see if your HTV is a cool or a hot peel. And I just cooled it down a little bit and then I was able to peel off the backing very, very easily. And now I have my koozie done. So this is a super easy beginner friendly project. Thank you for joining me as we went step by step on how to make this koozie in Silhouette Studio Standard Edition. If you have any questions about Silhouette Studio that you need answered, please feel free to drop those down below in the comments. We are happy to help. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for new crafty videos and share this with one of your friends who just got a silhouette and needs some help. I will see you soon in my craft room and stay crafty.